Just before we went on the air tonight, I got a telephone call from my good friend Walter Cronkite, the CBS newsman down in Washington. He told me his story, and uh, after he had told it to me and I had planned to tell it to you, I discovered that one of our writers, Andy Rooney, was over with Walter Cronkite in Holland when this thing happened nine years ago, and uh, he wrote up some of the details for me. Nine years ago, when the 101st and 82nd Airborne Divisions went into Holland under the command of Lieutenant General Anthony McAuliffe, remember the guy who said nuts to the Germans at Bastogne? The natives did all they could to help our boys and to foul up the Nazis who were occupying their country. Many of our Air Force boys, flying B-17s and B-24s, over Germany were forced to bail out over Holland. And invariably, these stout-hearted people hid them from the Nazis and brought them back via the underground to England to fight once again. When that was going on, many of the boys who were helped by the loyal people of Holland swore that if the chance ever came, they would do everything in their power to help those people the way they helped them at the time. Well, if you've been reading the papers, you know that now is the time. Holland needs help. One-sixth of that wonderful country is under salt water. The death toll is above 2,000 and still mounting. If you lads who were in Holland would like to do something, you veterans of the 101st and 82nd especially, organize in your local community now, right away. Clothes and warm blankets are needed badly. And they can be sent or taken to your local American Airlines office. They have kindly volunteered. American Airlines have kindly volunteered to fly those things, even from the West Coast to Washington and then overseas to Holland. If you can give money and lots of it is needed, send it direct to Holland Flood Relief, 74 Wall Street, New York City. Holland Flood Relief, 74 Wall Street, New York City. I hope that you can show those wonderful people of Holland that we don't forget. 